Okay, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of a game, and I'm gonna write words on the board, and they're gonna be song quotes. So see if you can write what comes next, or know what comes next. Together. What is that from? High School Musical. Okay. So what about? We all knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> Who sings that? Taylor Swift. Okay. So. Too. And uh, this past week, one of my devotionals was um, on this topic, and I felt called to share with y'all. So I'm going to read a little bit of what <clears throat> this devotion says. So it said, um, so the scripture from it, it just says like little short scriptures, and then it, you can read more. But um, it said, God has said, Hebrews 13, 5, and it carried um, out what this said. And it's just, it's just these words, not what else is in that scripture. Um, so it said, if we can only grasp these words by faith, we have an all-conquering weapon in our hand. Um, what doubt will not be slain with this two-edged sword? What fear is there that shall not fall smitten with a deadly wound before this arrow from the bow of God's covenant? Will not the distress of life and the pains of death, with, will not the eternal corruptions and the external snares, will not the trials from above and the temptations from beneath all seem but light afflictions, when we can hide ourselves beneath um, the Lord of he has said. Yes, whether for delight and peace or for strength in our conflict, he has said must be our daily resort. And this may teach us the extreme value of searching the scriptures. There may be a promise in the word that would exactly fit our case, but if you may not know it of it, and therefore you miss its comfort, you are like prisoners in a dungeon, um, and there may be one key in the bunch that would unlock the door, and you might be free. But if you will not look for it, you remain a prisoner still. Though liberty is so near at hand, um, there may be a potent medicine in the great pharmacy of Scripture, and you may yet continue sick unless you will examine and search the Scriptures to discover what he has said. Should you not, besides reading the Bible, store your memories richly with the promises of God, you can um, recollect the sayings of great men you treasure up the verses of renowned poets. So should you not also be proficient in your knowledge of the word of God, so that you may be able to quote it readily in solving a difficulty or overthrowing a doubt? Since he has said is the source of all wisdom and the fountain of all comfort, let it dwell in you richly as a spring of water welling up to eternal life. In this way, you will grow healthy, strong, and happy, and have a divine life. 
Um, so I found this extremely thought-provoking and um, challenging because we get so busy in our society today that we forget to do our devotional, and even if we do a devotional, we're not keen in on um, memorizing the scripture that's actually in the devotional. Um, so the part that I really liked um, was it said, we are like prisoners holding a ring full of keys. So all of our answers to all of life's problems are in here, um, yet we hardly ever crack it open, maybe on Sunday and Wednesday, but that's it. Um, so all of our answers are in the Bible, and we must choose to actually read it. Uh, I don't know about you, but it can be hard for me to do sometimes. I, I don't like reading, and so it's it's just challenging to actually open the Bible and read it. It's a lot easier for me to listen. So if you need to listen, there's there's apps that you can just listen to the Bible and stuff like that. So just make sure that you are in the Word. Um, so I decided that I want to share um, some scripture with y'all about the importance of God's Word. So, and this is something, what I did is something that you can do too. A lot of your Bibles have indexes in the back, so I just went up and I looked up Word. And then I went to the scriptures that dealt with God's Word. Well, you can do that with a bunch of different, it has the word sinner, it has a bunch of different problems in the back of your Bible, and you can just go look up verses about them, or you can Google it, either one. So, um, we're going to read a few scriptures. The first one um, is Psalm in Psalms 119, so if everyone can open up there. And I'll read this one. Um, the whole passage is really good. Um, it's Psalms, I really like Psalms 119, uh, 89 through 105. Um, but I'm just going to read a, uh, a couple of the scriptures from there. Um, it says, I'll let you get there, sorry. Um, it's, uh, this is verse 97. It says, How I love your instruction. It is my meditation all day long. Your commands make me wiser than my enemies, for they are always with me. And then um, in Psalms 119, verse um, 103, it says, How sweet your word is to my taste, sweeter than honey in my mouth. I gain understanding from your precepts, therefore I hate every false way. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Um, so this scripture I really, really liked, and I loved the part um, that said, How I love your instruction it is my meditation all day long. So it can't be our meditation unless we actually open up the Bible, of the mor and it, preferably of the morning, because you want it to be your meditation all day long. So you need to open it up and, um, and read it and actually meditate on it and memorize it. Um, so Jaden, would you mind reading for me? So if you'll go to Proverbs 30, verse 5. This is our next verse. Uh, yes, 30, in verse 30, verse 5. Every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. So um, you can know that every word in here is true. So um, it's not like you're reading anything false or that would negatively impact you. Everything in here is going, only going to positively impact you, and it's all going to be um, true and help you in your problems. Um, so the next scripture is Matthew 4.4. 4. And Janelle, will you read that? So this is God's word. While um, actual human beings wrote it down, they were influenced by um, what God said. It's been really interesting. Um, I go to a Christian university, and so we have to take um, Bible interpretation. And so we've been learning about how each of the writers had um, different influences and different, um, well, not influenced because they were all influenced by God, but they all had different styles of writing. So. Some wrote in poems like the Psalms, and then some just put their they put their voice in it. But it was all exactly what God wanted them to say, and He chose them to write it in their style because that's the style that He wanted. So it's been very very interesting to get to learn that. Um, so the next verse is John one, and um, really all of it, the whole it's all good. But I'm just going to read a couple of the different verses from John one. Um, it starts out, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were created through Him. And apart from Him, not one thing was created that has been created. 
in him was life, and that life was the light of men. That light shines in the darkness, and yet the darkness did not overcome it. Um, then I moved on to verse 10, and it says, He was in the world, and the world was created through him, and yet the world did not recognize him. Um, and then I went to verse 14, and I just read, um, The word became flesh and dwelt among us. So, to me, it would be so, so cool to have been in that time um, when Jesus was there, but obviously we're not. And so this is what he has left us with. Since we don't have Jesus here, we do have the Holy Spirit, and he influenced everything that is in here. Um, so we just have to make sure that we're um, opening this up and reading it. Um, so reading and memorizing scripture is how you will grow healthy, strong, and happy. <laughs>